Jesus transforms the human heart and changes not only what you do, but changes what you want to do. He transforms your hungers. And if you will just give him a fair hearing and with an open heart say, I'm willing to listen, speak to me. I will do my best to answer the question that has been provided for me. Truth. Whose truth? What truth? What does truth really mean? Welcome to Friendly Banjo Atheist. My name is Steve Boffman. The ongoing investigation into Ravi Zacharias's credentials continues to uncover more and more dirt. It now looks like that Asian Youth Preacher Award he says he won never existed. Here's the scoop. Since at least the early 1980s, Ravi has been telling us that in 1965 he entered an international preaching contest and won what he calls the Asian Youth Preacher Award. Here we see it in quotation marks. In his autobiography, he tells us in great detail about that preaching contest, which he describes as an annual event sponsored by Youth for Christ that in 1965 was hosted by India and was attended by young people gathering from all across India and Asia. Now, the first suspicious thing I noticed is that when I googled Asian Youth Preacher Award, the only references that came up were to Ravi himself. Surely an annual international contest like that would show more than just one winner. Fortunately, in his autobiography, Ravi gives us the name of three of the judges who were at the competition, and I was able to track down all three of them, Jay Kessler, Don Engram, and Samuel Kamalasan. All three of them told me that, yes, Ravi won the competition, but no, it was not an international competition. It was India only which explains why that fancy international sounding award, Asian Youth Preacher Award, exists only in Ravi Zacharias' self-promotional materials. Now it's possible that these three gentlemen misremember, after all this was 52 years ago, but wouldn't the Asian Youth Preacher Award show up somewhere other than in connection with Ravi Zacharias? It would be nice if he'd send us a photo of the trophy he won, or perhaps a copy of the plaque, or the certificate, because at this point, it's looking like this is yet another example of Ravi Zacharias seriously puffing his resume. Stay tuned, I'll see you down the road.